So I'm just going to show you how not to hold the tug when you're playing, which is just with no... See how the dog is now chewing? Because I'm not offering any opposition. So she just starts to mouth. Okay, so she even outs. And we'll be seeing quite a bit more of this when we get to the outing segment in week two, how we, how we, we use that to our advantage. But what you want to do is again, make prey, see how I leave it, and then right when the dog goes to grab it, I start moving it, okay? And then once the dog does get a grip, I keep a nice, steady tension. Okay, so see she wants to go with it? Hi. And I'm very lightly, this dog is complete, uh, she's had a leash on one time before and it was just dragging, we've never used it. So you can see, I'm just lightly stopping her. Very lightly. Come on, girl. And if I move away and give a little pull, then she'll come. Then she'll come to see me. And now that enables me to restart in a very uh, casual way. So I didn't really lose any drive. I didn't have to ask for an out. See what I mean? So I was able to get out of that situation, kind of scot free. There we go. So you can see I've got t steady tension. This is what you're going to want to be watching. See how I've got steady tension. She has a good grip. There she goes. Okay, remember she wants to go. This is just her. There you go. This is her first interaction like this. So her natural genetic tension is, uh, potential is to go, not to stay. So what I'm trying to do is control her environment so that she sees that being with me is not bad. There you go. So I can just hold her here and pet her. Pet her with the tug in her mouth by doing this. See, I'm, I touch it every so often to make sure she's got a steady grip. And what this also teaches the dog is that when you're in my presence, you can trust that I'm not going to take that from you. Okay, there you go. So she comes, she pulls it away. I just gently stop her with the leash. She comes, I grab it again. Of course, if she drops it, we're going to build a little drive and then we can let her have it there. Or if you feel like you're reaching the end of your session, if she drops it, you would build a little drive and put the toy away. Okay, so she maintains that drive. So you can see now she's laying down. This is what the dog probably genetically wants to do. So I'm with the leash, going to just reinforce her coming in. And then once she gets there, I'll be, you know, pet her, be nice. I don't want to take the toy. That's a habit for a lot of people is to take the toy as soon as the dog comes back. But I believe that that builds mistrust. Okay? It's all about tugging. What I'm really going to do if I need to reset is wait for my golden opportunity for when she drops it, gets hot, gets bored, whatever it is, so that I can reset. Here she's about to right now. Okay? This actually brings me to a really good point, especially with a puppy. What I don't do is get into these games of stealing, okay? I don't do this ever. For several reasons, I don't want the dog to have any kind of a negative association with me in this whole thing. So if anything, I'll come up and just pet him. And then I'll grab it, and then I'll go into tug, okay? But I don't like to steal the toy because I feel like that can create conflict and the dogs, I, I believe, it's my thought, that the dog's reaction to that is to take the toy and run, which again is not our idea. We want the dog to take the toy and bring it to us, where the real play happens. Okay? So you can see this is a Mastiff puppy. So not super bite driven, more of a territorial kind of a guard dog type thing. So, but I'm just trying to develop and embellish her natural bite, whatever biting instincts she has, I'm trying to enhance those. Okay, and what I'm going to do here is if I can get the tug from her. If you're in the worst case scenario where you can't get the tug from the dog and it's safe and you have a dog that's a safe size and you feel safe, you can just very nicely Watch closely. I'm going to actually put my fingers in between the grip of the... See what I mean? Because I know the dog is... Even though the dog is mouthy right now, this is a very young puppy, I know she's not going to really bite me. So, 
and and actually with this dog I know we talked about accidental bites uh, with a puppy this size pre teething if there is an accidental bite I'm probably not going to do too much about it I might just keep going on uh, in the beginning especially I want them to value play so much that they can do no wrong anytime okay and as the dog gets older and I feel like they really do already value the play then I will deal with uh, the accidental bites okay but especially a puppy like this she's not really gonna hurt me she's you know she's mouthy on everything she's teething I can kind of just expect it and kind of uh, I guess for lack of a better word let it go right now